I've got, I've got 99 problems, and my batteries are definitely one of them. I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems. My shop's a mess right now. It's driving me nuts. It's mostly because I have so many batteries I gotta charge at all times. Let's do something to fix this. I'm thinking I can do something here. So I need to figure out how to put these. As you'll see in the forthcoming montage, I'm gonna take all this, and try to lay it all out and make sense of it all. Cue the music. The point of all this is to make sure I have enough plugs for all of my toys. So I built this while the camera was turned off because I didn't realize it was turned off. Yay! Scrap back piece, scrap top piece, scrap bottom piece, scrap trim. Scrap trim on top because I'm a fancy man and I need fancy things in my life. Let's test fit it. It kind of fits, right? Drill holes now. Can this be over with already? Old fashioned craftsmanship. <laughs> it's not as glamorous as I had planned, but Quick tip, do you have DeWalt power tools? Well, I had this, these tools forever, love them, but the batteries died and the battery packs are like $60 each. No thank you. Found these knockoffs from China, which stand a 25% chance of blowing up on you and burning your house down, but they're way cheaper. Links below. Look, I really hate doing the Casey Neistat over the shoulder type stuff, but I think it applies in this situation. Loving my new board here. Everything's much easier to use. Got space for improvement, space to move stuff around. It's minor, it looks like crap, I get it, but it makes me happy and it gets my shop a lot cleaner. And that's all that really matters. And that's all these videos are all about, is using your noodle, making things easier in your life and just using the junk that you have all around you. I'm definitely not a pro. I'm definitely terrible at woodworking, but I still like to just get out in the garage, mess around, and that's what I'm trying to inspire you to do. Just get out and do something. It's fun.